I'm a 23-year-old woman, and my friend and I arrived at a secluded hostel in Poland. We had the door code, but to our dismay, it refused to open. Frustrated and feeling a growing sense of unease, we found ourselves at the mercy of two strangers who claimed to be fellow guests. They offered their assistance, but even their combined efforts couldn't unlock the door until someone exited the building. Initially, these men appeared helpful, even going so far as to carry our luggage up the rickety staircase to the decrepit hostel. Oddly, no one manned the check-in desk, despite the owner's explicit instructions for us to arrive at this precise time. We knew our assigned room, and the two men kindly guided us there. Superficial pleasantries were exchanged. A significant age gap separated us, they were in their early thirties, a decade older than us, as I recall. We made it clear how young we were. With polite farewells, they left us to settle in. But it soon became evident that we were locked in without keys to the building or our room. The sense of unease grew. The hostel, once an apartment, was dingy and uncomfortable. We heard a tentative knock on the door. Before we could respond, the two men entered the room uninvited. The younger of the two began discussing plans for the night and probed us with more personal questions. My friend and I exchanged uneasy glances. Then, the situation took a sinister turn. He insinuated that I was in charge because my friend appeared young. Inappropriately, he ran his hand down her cheek. But the worst was yet to come. He admitted to having recently consumed cocaine and extended an offer to share some with us, an offer we firmly declined. Desperation set in, and I yearned for him to leave. Despite my attempts to usher him out, he lingered, blocking the door. His words continued to flow, unabated. Finally, I managed to nudge him towards the exit, but he resisted, making it difficult to close the door completely. I resorted to using my own body to barricade the door shut. Meanwhile, my friend's repeated calls to the owner went unanswered. Fearing for our safety, we hastily booked another hostel online and made our escape. As we heard the strangers leave, we slipped out quietly, never looking back. Now, we are in the process of securing a refund for our ill-fated stay at the unsettling hostel.